Like the character in the Matchbox Diary, I'm attracted to matchboxes, to boxes of all kinds. And for many years I played with the Xerox machine to see what it could do in the way of art projects and did several matchbox theaters with the help of the Xerox machine. I'll show them to you today, a few of them, and open up um, a couple of them and show you how they work. This is the very first one I did, which was actually powered with matchsticks. Let's have a tightrope walker crossing Yosemite Canyon. Here we go. Boy, I have a fear of heights. I can barely watch this. And there's Yosemite Falls. On and on he goes until we reach the end. So how would you make this if you want to make one? Well, you would take a matchbox, you would open it up, and you would glue in some nuts, put in a matchstick on either end, and make a little film. I just got mine from a brochure about Yosemite that had this view in it, and tape it to both ends, and away you go. Later I realized I could do some different sort of matchbox theaters. This one is from the era uh, before ESPN, before the wide world of sports. Uh, so this is from the exciting world of competitive ballooning. And here we go. A little hard to see perhaps, but look at that photo finish in Constantinople. Wow. How do you make this kind? Well, you put a length of copper wire through a matchbox, just turn it down at both ends to hold it in place, and then you wrap another wire around it. And then you hang something over it, and it will move when you turn that. I believe it's called a worm gear. Not positive about that. Let's see another one. Some more sporting action from the world of Olympic fencing. Now look at that thrust. Perry, yeah, before TV, people would do this for hours, hours. How does this one work? Well, just like the other one, except the two pieces of, you wrap two different pieces of copper wire around the, the main one, and they're wrapped in different directions, and that means the pieces hanging on them travel in different directions. And so it was well suited to a sword fight. So, you can still buy matchboxes at the grocery store. That's where I got mine, at least. This one I put a little uh, skylight at the top to let a little more light in. Some of them felt a little dark to me. You might um, perform innovations like that of your own, invent some things, let me know what you do, have fun.